Imagine an AI that will be able to take cues from your facial expressions, tone, and even heart rate to shape its responses to your query, thereby making your conversations more lifelike with vast possibilities for real-life applications. That's what Microsoft is offering with a new update called Rumi, which will basically enhance already existing large language models to be able to take into consideration other paralinguistic features in generating content. Join me as I take you through this amazing new update. We're approaching a time in AI development where machines will be able to read the facial expressions and body language of the user. And with all of these tweaks coming to AI platforms recently, it's hinting that we might be able to achieve AGI by the end of the decade as some experts have already projected. I call this an update rather than a whole different model on its own because it will just be a way for users to get better user experience while making use of existing large language models like the GPT program. And given the partnership that Microsoft has with OpenAI, I'm really interested to see how this new technology will influence the latest version of the ChatGPT program. It makes total sense that this will be the type of improvement that OpenAI will want for its program. But so far, from the demonstration video that you'll still find on the Microsoft website where they announced the details of the project Rumi, it seems that the program is already being integrated into the beta version of Bing. And there's been no news yet on when this will be fully rolled out. Now, what's the whole idea of Rumi? Project Rumi is a research project from Microsoft that is developing a new way for humans to interact with large language models. So far, the interaction with these models has solely been text-based, although versions like ChatGPT4 and the updated version of BARD have managed to include the possibility of image prompts. It's expected that AI will continue to grow over the months, which basically means that we'll be seeing AI integrated more and more into our daily lives. And with such growing interaction will come the need for systems that can be able to read humans and act accordingly. And that's what Microsoft is offering with Rumi. At the beginning of the AI saga, I didn't quite think that we'll be where we are today on this, but somehow we've managed to cross the boundaries from just creating software with really crazy capabilities to integrating them into physical robots also. For a wider acceptance of AI-powered robots, it's important that they're able to understand not just spoken words from users, but also read body languages that will alert them to certain actions. So this might just be a really genius move for Microsoft. And in a like manner, we've been seeing Meta investing heavily in software designed to add additional sensitivity to machines. And if you've been following my channel, you must have learned about the iJEPA program, which is really amazing. And we're bound to be seeing more of these coming from different companies. The move to integrate Rumi with LLMs doesn't in any way underplay the huge impact that these text-based models already have. LLMs are powerful AI models that can generate text, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content, and answer your questions in an informative way. However, users have had some reservations from the onset on some issues regarding the content generated from these models. They're designed to mimic human interactions, which definitely goes well beyond speech, to include gestures, tone, facial expressions, and other forms of body language. AI has been found wanting in these areas as they can sometimes misinterpret human input, leading to misunderstandings or inappropriate responses. For a machine that will basically be trusted with many tasks when the time finally comes, it's really important that these gaps get filled for smoother interaction. Microsoft describes Project Rumi on their website as a multimodal paralinguistic prompting for large language models. Multimodal in the sense that it's going to take into consideration some other modalities of transmitting information outside the text-based models we do have. And this will include paralinguistic patterns in communication, which means that machines will be able to read your facial expressions and consider the tone of your voice while being able to read audio and video prompts for more suitable responses. And this provides a pattern in the recent trend. If you're observant, you'll notice that most of the big firms are not pushing out new LLMs as they did earlier this year. Instead, they're trying to make additions that will optimize what they already have. This is quite acceptable as there have been concerns raised on AI safety that need to be addressed if we intend to achieve anything with these models. Because what's the point of rolling out new models when people haven't really come around to making use of the older ones? 
Having a better understanding of human expressions will definitely help generate responses that will satisfy the needs of users, and also help the models realize when they're expected to weigh their responses. Overall, we're approaching building little beings of our own. Rumi addresses the problem that arises from the gap in understanding human expressions by incorporating paralinguistic input into prompt-based interactions with LLMs. Paralinguistic input is nonverbal information that can be used to convey meaning such as facial expressions, eye movements, and tone of voice. Project Rumi uses a combination of sensors to collect this data in real time and then uses machine learning to analyze it and generate appropriate paralinguistic tokens to augment the standard lexical prompt input into the LLM. In terms of architecture, the architecture of Rumi from Microsoft is a multifaceted system that seamlessly integrates various modalities to enhance user interaction. This intricate architecture comprises both physical sensors and non-contact systems, combining to provide a better understanding of users' emotional and cognitive states. These sensors are expected to work side by side to realize the best results possible for user satisfaction. When it comes to physical sensors, these devices capture and record the electrical activity of the brain, otherwise known as EEG, heart rate and facial expressions, providing insights into users' cognitive processes, emotional states, and attention levels. Non-contact systems, on the other side, are systems that will use cameras and microphones to track users' body language, eye gaze, and speech patterns, providing additional information about their emotional and cognitive states. And if you take a look at the demonstration video on the website, you'll better appreciate the work that has gone into making this thing. The interface looks just like what you'll find on any other AI platform that we have at the moment. The only difference here is that the user was able to make a video prompt directly to the system. The system will then have to analyze and tailor its response based on what it sees. And when you look at the top, you'll find that the AI creates a pie chart here, basically breaking down the expressions it's observed on the user. And the response it gives is just really amazing, taking into consideration all these features. You can also see these little emoji that are used to portray these observed emotions. That's really nice on its own. Overall, it gives a more friendly and a live platform for you to interact with machines and get responses that will appeal to your sentiments. Since mobile devices and computers come with cameras equipped these days, rolling out these features won't be so much trouble. And even if it comes to having special components to power this, such as can be integrated with newer devices, we've already seen that companies are willing to collaborate. An instance will be Qualcomm's announced partnership with Meta. I did cover this in a previous video, and the link will be in the description. And the summary of the collaboration is that they're partnering to bring the Meta Llama 2 software to mobile devices in 2024. So basically, any new device with the Qualcomm chip will be able to run the program. And I think it's really impressive that they're trying to start running these AI models locally on these devices. Back to Rumi, the multimodal, multi-step architecture is expected to integrate seamlessly with all pre-trained text-based LLMs. I can't say for certain that this means that Microsoft is open to collaboration with other companies that make these LLMs, as it will provide additional information on the user's sentiment and intention that's not captured by text-based models. This is definitely one thing needed to improve the quality of communication between humans and LLMs, leading to more accurate and appropriate responses. Project Rumi is still under development, but it has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with AI. By incorporating paralinguistic input, LLMs can become more human-like in their understanding and responses, making them more helpful and reliable partners in our daily lives. In case you're wondering what the practical use of such an addition will be, it's no longer news that many platforms have adopted these LLMs to power their chatbots. Having such an addition means that these chatbots could use Project Rumi to better understand the emotional state of the customer so that they can provide more effective support. And if the Rumi technology makes it into robotics, as I think it definitely will, Rumi can help care robots deliver better care to its patients. And thinking about these possibilities just makes the whole thing more exciting. The possible applications of this technology are just limitless, especially as there's a growing number of other technologies that it will complement. So from education to health and other aspects, it's expected to come in really handy. Rumi is still definitely in its early stages, and I'm not really sure when we'll be seeing it rolled out, but it has the potential to make a significant impact on the way we interact with AI.
It's a promising new technology that has the potential to make AI more human-like and helpful. In the future, Microsoft is looking to bring heart rate, cognitive, and ambient sensing to add to the features. Things are just going to get more and more interesting, and I really can't wait to bring them to you in future videos. Thanks for watching.